Okay, I guess it's going to be part two. I went and I got an extension cord. This thing. I'm going to have to do this all over again. All right, let's see what a 1500 watt power inverter can handle. Will it handle a... Let's see here. This is a 120 volt AC... 12 amps 220 mile an hour leaf blower I doubt it's going to handle it That's impressive with an extension cord now I'm running this off of the car battery and a 100 watt solar panel so I tested all this it will run the fan it ran the saws all no problem it ran the grinder it ran the buffer This grinder was also 12 amps. I'm surprised that it ran that, but it ran it with no problem. This is a 6 amp, and this guy was uh, 11 amps. So it ran all three of these guys with no problem. It ran the vacuum cleaner, which is 7 amps, 7.5, 7.5 amps. No problem. It ran that really good. It just ran that 12 amp leaf blower. Will it run this toaster? Highly, highly doubt it. I doubt it. But we are sure going to give it a try. Okay, so it's zero. Let's do medium timer. Here's a timer. I can hear it. Uh, it's only pulling 140 watts. That's not bad. So it will run it. It will will run that baking thing. Oh, that's a surprise. Let's see if it's hot. Oh, yes, sir. It's hot. It's hot in there. Yes, it's running it. That's surprising. So it's at 12 1. Uh, 150. Now, this broil is the highest, isn't it? Still 150 watts draw. The voltage is at 12 volt. So you probably can't run this long, but you should be able to toast or bake uh, like a cinnamon bun or a bread with butter in it or something like that with no problem. I'm surprised it runs it. And this is a family chef. <laughs> Here, my Spanglers. Family chef. <laughs> family chef. Um, oh, it is hot. Here is the side information on it. I'm so sorry, the sun is. It is 470 watts. How is it 470 when it's only. Registering 150. 
How about toast? Is the toast higher? Oh yeah, there we go, toast. Now we're cooking 390 watts. Oh, it's it's hot. It's maintaining 1170 volts at 390 watts. That's pretty good. Okay, that top bar right there is getting ready. Oh, I can feel the heat. Man, I wish you guys could feel this heat. Okay. So it did run that. I'm impressed. That's pretty impressive. Okay. Hot oven, get out of here. Will it run a 10 amp battery charger? Now, I don't think I should plug it in. I, yeah, because if it's like this, if I just plug it in there, of course it's going to run it. You know, it got no draw. So the voltage is slowly coming back up. It's on, no problem. Put it onto our battery. Will that blow something up? Well, only one, one way to find out. Let's put it on there. Oh, it's on there. <laughs> uh, laugh with the solar panel goes pow. So it's it's not drawing anything because that battery is fully charged. It is charging it though. Look, it says five amps, almost five amps going out. So it does work. It's kind of like circulating. I don't want to do it long because I don't know if it's going to blow something up or hurt something. So, yep, it did it. So it will charge, for example, your car battery. It will, it will work. So I'm impressed. This thing will handle 12 amps with no problem. How long is the question? Okay. So, yeah. That's pretty impressive. Um, I guess we can go back to... You guys want to see the grinder? This guy here? These things draw, man. These things draw. Let's do it again. For Pete's sake. So I didn't think it was going to power this thing. But it did. That's impressive. The Sawzall. A bunch of stuff here. The sawzall. <laughs> no problem. And obviously, that house fan, it'll run that probably all day. No problem. It had problems with this guy. Now, let's see. Ten amps. It's only ten amps, so it's the same amperage as that. But I had it had problems running it for some reason. Let's try it again. I don't know if it's my trigger because this buffer has been sitting in my garage forever. So. 
Oh, there it goes. It does run it. So for all intents and purposes, it will run all of this, even that toaster, no problem, no problem whatsoever, it didn't burp, make a sound or nothing, not even the, the cooling fans on it are not even on yet, pretty cool, it ran that shop vac. Now this shop vac ain't really ain't that small. It looks small probably because of the video, but it's not that it's not very small. It's a pretty decent sized shop vac. It's got forward and reverse. You guys want to hear it? Let's hear it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, getting the voltage back up 13.0 and. Oh, let's see how much it goes. So it's looping. But it's still on. Slowly going back up. That's what's coming in. It'll go all the way up to thirteen nine. I'm impressed. It powered everything. It powered all this stuff. No problem. Especially this guy. This guy's 12 amp leaf blower. And this thing will, if you don't hold it right, it'll blow off your hand. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, that little Walmart refrigerator, it's like a 50 watt draw. It'll probably power that for as long as you have it on. I'm impressed. All this stuff still works. Thanks for the 1500 watt inverter. That'll be good.